Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a Montessori work that we call the number rule. The number rule is something that you can do once you know how to build numbers up to 100. And you can keep going higher than that too. The really cool thing about a number rule is you can keep going for as long as you want to. Part of what makes this really cool is to get into a competition with yourself to see how long you can make it. So let me show you how we use this. All right, so my materials for this work are some scissors, some kind of tape. I just have masking tape, you probably have real tape. A writing pencil, and this printable number roll sheet. This is available in our Google Drive folder. I'll put a link to it in the YouTube comments. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut apart these boxes into strips of paper. There's one strip. And for my video, I'm not going to be super careful cutting them because I don't want you to have to watch this video for too long. But you might want to cut off these extra edges these extra edges so that your number roll is nice and compact. All right, so now that I've got these, I'm ready to get started. So when you're writing a number roll, what you're gonna do is write down each numeral in order. For instance, using my most careful handwriting, I'm gonna start with one, okay, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Super. All right, I wrote from one to nine <clears throat> in this set of boxes that's just one box wide. Now I'm ready to go on to my next strip. Notice that this strip has two boxes. And the reason for that is because now I'm going to have two digits in my numeral. So we got to nine here. Next up, you got it, 10. I'm going to keep going up by one. So after 10 comes 11, then 12, then 13, then 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, so let's take stock of where we are. So far I've recorded one to nine and 10 all the way to 19. I'm ready for a new strip and on my new strip, I'm going to start with the number after 19, which is 20, a two, and a zero. Two in the tens place, zero in the units place. Then I keep going. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, 28, 29, what do you think will come next? 30. Now this is, these are the only strips I printed out for, to show you in this video, but if you print out what's online, you can keep going and going and going. So now that I've written my numbers, it's time for me to turn this into a roll. So when you are taping these together, it's really important that as you are doing it, you're reading it back to a grown-up. So anytime you work on this, after you tape the strips together so they're in order, I want you to practice reading it back with a grown-up. When you read back, it really helps you remember. So, whew, I'm gonna read this back to you, my friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Whew, awesome. If you make any mistakes, like maybe writing a number backwards, no worries. You can erase it and fix it if you want to. Or you can be more careful when you write that numeral in the future. What is important is that you get your numbers in the right order. That's very important to me. When you're done working on your number roll for the day, you can actually roll it up. This is why we call it a number roll. And every day when you add on some new numbers, you'll use your most careful handwriting, you'll read it back to a grown-up, and you'll add it on. I wonder how long your number roll will become.